Huh. into you here of all places aren't there any sunrise herb and evening primrose nearby please scrounge some up and with a bit of simple alchemy Thank you. I'm still amongst the living, thanks to you. <coughs> I heard about you f from Eileen. Of course, the society has the utmost faith in you. But for us to allocate the bulk of our resources to investigate this phenomenon is not so simply done. And so, I elected to conduct an unofficial investigation on my own. While that was steadily underway, well... This happened. Precisely. My first thought was that I was trapped in some dark, depraved bandit's lair. Though meeting you here now confirms my suspicions, this is indeed what you call the Abyss. And yet, how did such a space come to be? And what must I do to find my way back to Calpheon? Anomaly, you say? Well, if that's how it is, let us make haste to seek out this anomaly and repair it. Time is of the essence. Even now, our world is slowly coming apart at the seams. I never thought this day would come. It seems my senses have grown... dull. I must take my leave now. Eileen, she will be... take my leave
Let's take a breather. I'm not as young as you might think. I wish to learn all the secrets of the world before my death. But I'm afraid too much is still shrouded in mystery. a sinister looking creature truly that something so foul would be the guardian of this place i can hear you old fart what do you know you're just some alien fungus polluting my pure abyss why would you even bring him to magnus look at him i don't remember the shadow shrine having anyone so decrepit i'm gorgath of calpheon an alchemist specializing in disease research. Gorgath? <laughs> Hardly! Though it's unlikely two people would have such an awful name. Are you really sure you're him? The Gorgath I know has this beautiful sable skin. Quite rough around the edges, though. How do you know of my condition? Alustine Frero and Igor are the only ones who know it. Oh, oh, you're the real Gorgath, then. What? Hmm? What's that? Look, between you and me, I wouldn't let Jordine see you sneaking out. I've seen infants throw smaller tantrums. It's quite sad, really. Best go quick. W what? J jordine Now, wait just a moment. What does he say? Did you not defeat Belmore? How does Jordine still stand? Desert brush as far as the eyes can see. Is this Medea? So the abyss runs through, connecting distant regions of our land, no matter how remote. I must make haste to the Society of Equilibrium, and I shall inquire further about Jordine when next we meet. Until then. Hey, Doc! I found it! 
Here, on page 691. Excellent, Eileen. You've all the makings of a great researcher. Really, a researcher, but I'm still so inexperienced. Of course. Just look at the genius level of talent your sister was born with. With even a fraction of that, you'll be incredible. Oh. <laughs> oh, adventurer, uh, right in the nick of time. <laughs> Eileen just found the records regarding this abyss. It's dated to... Over 1,500 years ago, around the founding of the Ozekin Empire. Eileen, I know your Kuteron may be a bit rusty, but why not give it a shot? Uh, will do. <clears throat> On the twelfth day of the ship's moon, a strange phenomenon was witnessed at Dalimont Hill. A chicken tumbled into the sky, winds clumped together, clouds sunk to the earth. One day, a woman, last seen fetching some water, went missing for a full week. When she reappeared, she declared, I have seen into the abyss. From within the abyss, she brought the chicken back to the ground, scattered the winds, and lifted the clouds skyward. As soon as she had done so, a gate to the surface opened up, and peace was seemingly restored. We deemed this the Abyss Synchronization Phenomenon, and... Just a moment, Eileen. You should set off to Medea. It seems... Another phenomenon's occurred there.
Hello everyone, this is Breaker Down 2 here. Just want to say thanks for watching. This is part 4. The rest of the parts will be coming out soon. I noticed the volume is a little low, but that will be updated in future videos. Take care and thanks for watching.